Hey guys, this is Pokemon Storm Silver, video number 13. In the last video, we took on Whitney and beat her. So now we're gonna... Well, we didn't, like, beat her, but we defeated her Pokemon. Yeah. No, no, like, abuse that goes on here. Any kind of physical abuse towards humans. No beating people up. Just beating their Pokemon. So, um, yeah. In this video, we're gonna kind of make our way up north. We're gonna go through here, the National Park, battle the trainers that are here. The bug catching contest is going on today, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, I'm, I, I just don't feel like doing that right now. If you want to do the bug catching contest, go for it. Catch a, catch a bug. I really have no need to catch a bug because I already have my, my team. I already have my team set up the way I want it. My six Pokemon. They're going to be great. They're going to be awesome. Alrighty. So we have some trainers here in the grass. So I'm going to get out this Repel, Super Repel, and use it so that I don't run into any wild Pokemon while I'm trying to battle these trainer Pokemon. And her Pokemon is just simply darling. And she's going to let us know how proud it makes her. That's not really all that darling, Granbull. I never thought Granbull was that cute. Okay, I guess maybe because it's pink. But even that doesn't make it cute. That just makes it an oxymoron. Okay, it's pink and it's like vicious. Okay, that is a damn oxymoron if I ever saw one. <laughs> he used Lick and it was a critical hit. <laughs> that was just a weird like freaking visual. Well, that was that was a hell of a lick. You know, he he he, he licked him hard. I don't know. She licked him hard. I guess that sounds a little bit better. Anyway, Spike is all paralyzed now, so uh, he's not going to attack first. So I need to use the lemonade to get his HP up. And uh, let's see, Granville's going to use Headbutt. Oh, critical hit! All right, well, so much for the lemonade. All right, Jericho, this is uh, this is your battle now. Granbull uses Charm, which really lowers my attack. But that's okay, because I'm using Special Attack here, and uh, that's really all it takes. So that's a dead Granbull. Jericho gained experience. And Jericho grew to level 24. And we defeated Pokefan Beverly. And her Granbull. Her precious Granbull. No, I don't want to chat with you about your precious, cute Granbull that isn't cute at all. I'm going to have to use a revive now here on Spike. Because I'm trying to kind of level him up a little bit, you know. I really need him to learn... Well, he does know Shockwave now, doesn't he? I don't know. I need him to learn Thunderbolt or something. Like, some really epic electric type move. Maybe have him learn Earth Power. Like, uh... What do you call it? Like, Tundra. Oh, no! Ice Beam! That way he can take on ground types. Yeah, Ice Beam. I, I don't even know if he can learn Ice Beam. If I was guessing, I'd say probably not. But hey, you never know. Anyway, we're challenged by last Chris, who spells her name K-R-I-S-E. Um, she sends in this Oddish, and I have Mick up front, who uses Ice Fang on the Oddish, and it's super effective. So way to go, Mick, and take out Pokemon that you should be weak against. Now she's going to send in Gloom. Doom and Gloom, Gloom. So I'll bring Mick out and send in Vesuvius, since Vesuvius is uh, super effective against Gloom here. Vesuvius uses Ember. I'm pretty sure he he learns Fire Fang at some point in the near future if he hasn't, or she. That's right, it's a female Charmeleon. I feel like I should get a big pink bow for it. Remember the one from the anime, the one that Ash's Charizard like fell in love with that had that big pink bow. Like, it was like a, a big bow. It was pink. Big pink bow. Anyway, we adore our Pokemon. Even if they dislike us. That's what being a Poke fan is all about. And, yeah. I think they dislike you because you hang around with little kids that dress up as Pokemon. And, I don't know, that could be kind of disheartening if, you know, the Pokemon he's dressing up as isn't the same Pokemon that you have. And it looks like he was dressing up as a Pichu and you have a freaking Mime Jr. So, you know, I could see how that might hurt Mime Jr.'s feelings. And now he's going to send in a pseudo Wudo. So, I'll stick with Mick. Ha ha ha, stick with Mick. 
Mick used water gun. I should just go ahead and teach him water pulse. I don't know why I haven't done that already. I guess I'm hoping that he'll learn something on his own. Uh, Mick can no longer escape. Mick used water gun. Alright, that is uh, that was a three hit KO on Pseudo Wudo. Alright, defeated Pokefan William. And if you haven't noticed, I just gave Spike the EXP share so that um, he could level up and I wouldn't have to use him in battle. Oh, you think you know more than me, do you? We'll see about that, school kid Jack. Oddish. Oh, okay, so you're probably thinking, oh, he's got a water type, so I'll send in a grass type. Well, guess what, Holmes? I got Ice Fang on my water type. That's right. Mick gained experience. Spike gained experience. Spike grew to level 24. Sweet! Now he's going to send in Fampy. And this is a good example of him not knowing more than me. I don't know, maybe his Fampy knows Thundershock or something and he's going to surprise me with it. No, he's just going to use Takedown. Fampy's hit with Recoil. And Mick will use Water Gun and that'll be a dead Fampy. Okay. Let's go on Mick and Spike. He's going to send in Krulgunk now. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah, I'll switch. Mick. Mick. Mick's done for, for right now at least. Um... I'll go into Robotnik. Maybe. Robotnik. 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 School Kid Jackson out Krogunk. And, uh, freaking Zen Headbutt should be really freaking effective on Krogunk. He uses Taunt, which means I can only use moves that do damage. Like Zen Headbutt. And it's super effective. Krogunk fainted, Spike gained experience. Yeah, Robot Necker, level 25. Oh, he's going to use Skitty now. What? Alright, Skitty. Oh, God, he used a track on me. Hopefully, Jericho will still like want to attack it. I'm not condoning like domestic violence, but you know, Jericho, even though you are in love with this thing, I still need you to like attack it, but you're mobilized, immobilized by love. Come on, Jericho, just just razor leaf it already. Holy crap. Okay, Skitty used copycat. What what does that mean? You're gonna razor leaf me? Why would you do that? It's not gonna do crap. It's not so very effective. I'm not a ground type yet. Absorb. Look at that. Absorb. Critical hit. Dead Skitty. Good job, Jericho. You faced temptation and for the most part did alright. Did I? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna call Jericho Jethro. Like just out of habit for, the, for at least the next few videos. At least until I'm done with Spirit Gold because, oh. I'm just used to saying Jethro, I guess. But no, it's Jericho. I shouldn't have given them such, like, similar nicknames. Alright, so that, I think that's pretty much it for the trainers. So now we'll go through this little hole in the fence. We can't get up there just yet until we get rock climb. We can't get rock climb until we get all 16 badges. And I only have three, so I'm still a little bit away from that. Um, in uh, Spirit Gold, it took me 81 videos to get all 16 badges. So uh, let's see how many videos it takes me here. Hopefully it won't take that many, but uh, you never know. Here I just found TM28 Dig. That might be a good move to... Uh, I'm not sure... When, uh, once uh, Jericho evolves into Torterra, when he'll learn Earthquake, but if it's uh, not for a while, I might think about teaching him that. Or maybe I teach it to Jolteon. I teach it to Spike, there you go. Okay, well, I think we're pretty much done here in the National Park. We've battled all the trainers and talked to everyone, so. Yeah, might as well head out this way, Route 36. 
Here's an apricorn tree. What is it? A blue apricorn, I believe. Obtain the blue apricorn. And it's in the apricorn box. And here is a psychic. I can tell by your sprite that you're a psychic. Let me guess what you're thinking. I can tell by your... Yeah, you're a damn psychic, Mark. And he has a Ralts. So I'll send in Mick. What will Mick do? Mick will use Bite. And that is super effective. That's a dead Ralts right there. That's like the deadest Ralts I've ever seen. Now he's going to send in Curlia. I'll stick with Mick. The old, you know, stick with Mick ploy. Never fails. Mick used Bite. Super effective. Dead Curlia. Psychic Mark is about sending Kadabra. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah, Psychic Mark sent out Kadabra. Uh, so far, um, my Pokemon, for the most part, are about, as far as the gym leaders go, at the level of the gym leaders, and as far as the trainers go, actually a little bit above. Um, so, this is, uh, this game has a pretty decent level curve. I think this game has a better level curve than Spirit Gold. Uh, I know in Spirit Gold I had to, uh, um, go and grind several times. Um, I'm gonna have to grind before I take on red and spirit gold. But, uh, I haven't had to grind yet here, and I don't, I don't really see me having to do that anytime in the near future. And maybe not even for red, if the level curve continues the way it is, and, you know, if it's like it was in, uh, Blaze Black and Volt White. That was perfect. That level curve in that game. I didn't have to do like any kind of really grinding in that game. So if it if it sticks to that, then yeah, I I probably sh shouldn't have to do any grinding. Anyway, I got a lucky break there, and Tangula is frozen. Tangula is frozen solid, and Mick is at level 26 now. So. Uh, Spike is at level 25, that's cool. And now he's gonna send in Quagsire. So, uh, I'll get Mick out of there and send in Jericho to take on this Quagsire. Because Jericho is just at level 24. And he needs some experience too, so. Jericho used Razor Leaf. And that, uh, that is. That's kind of. Oh, well, it did take him out. I don't know why I sounded so sad. It took him out. That's a dead Quagsire. Huh? My prediction was incorrect? Are you serious? What? Next time I find something, I'll give it to you. May I have your phone number? No. Oh, I thought it would be good to give you a break while I'm studying. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Hey! Yes! Let's soak the tree! It's an odd tree. Use the squirt bottle? And I should have saved before doing this, but oh well, it's too late now. It's a pseudo wudo! Oh my goodness! Go, Jericho. What will Jericho do? Jericho will pseudo wudo use rock throw, first of all. And then Jericho will use absorb. Let's see how much that does. It should be super effect. Oh, it doesn't do much at all. Um. Well, let's see if uh, absorb didn't do too much. Let's see what razor leaf. Oh, wow. Okay. And it's going to be another Razor Leaf then. And Sudowoodo just learned Razor Leaf. So another Razor Leaf. And then probably an... Oh. I don't know. Maybe another Absorb. Maybe not. Oh, wow. I didn't think it would catch on the first try. Alright. Well, I caught Sudowoodo. Not going to use him, obviously, for my team, but... uh. You know, not, it's, it's an event Pokemon, and I usually try and catch those. And she gives us the Berry Pots, which is awesome. I actually, uh, I actually use the Berry Pots a lot. So she gives us the Oran Berries and the Petra Berries. You have to plant berries in the soil, then they will grow strong. I have to go back to Goldenrod. Are you here for eager teeth? Then you should go north here. See you around. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go ahead and bust out the Berry Pots. Um... I'm going to go ahead and plant the Oran Berries, because you know that little mill tank farm over there on Route whatever it is, west of uh, Ecruteak City? you got to feed those mill tanks, like 8 million Oran Berries. And then once the mill tank gets better, she's like, oh, here's a seal case, and you can buy Moo Moo Milk from us. 
So I want to uh, have a bunch of Oran berries by the time I get over there to the mill tank farm so that I can feed them Oran berries. I think I think it's 10. I think you have to have 10 Oran berries to feed the mill tank. So I'll make sure I have that many by the time I get there. Alright, so, uh, planted a couple of berries, and, uh, what are you doing? You're, you're not, you're not usually here to break bricks with. Oh, TM31 Brick Break. That is a good move. I always like that move, Brick Break. It will destroy and reflect our light screen on contact. And I completely just passed up that item down there. But that's okay, I'll get it later. Okay. Let's uh, boot up a rappel here so that I don't run into anything in this grass. And But first I got to battle this guy. I was hoping to go around him, but he turned around at the last minute. Probably because I was running. This is Psychic Greg, and he sends in a ghastly. So I'll send in Jericho. You know what to do, Jericho. Just use bite. Or don't. What? Oh, I'm sending in Robotnik? Why would I do that? Why did I do that? Does Jericho not have bite? Seriously, why did I do that? I don't know why I just did that. Anyway, I used the Awakening on Robotnik. So what will Robotnik do now? Ghastly used bite, but it failed. Robotnik used Zen Headbutt. And that should one-hit KO the Ghastly since it's part poison type. And it does. It's super effective. Okay. Uh, next is Drowsy. Will you switch your Pokemon? Yeah, probably. Mm. About next switch out. Come back. Go, Mick. I don't know. I thought I thought Jericho had Bite. Maybe he doesn't have Bite. Maybe it's Mick. Maybe I th you know it's Spike. Mick and Spike both have Bite. And now he put Mick to sleep. Brilliant. Nick is fast asleep, and the Drowsy used Dream Eater. Yeah, 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 I know, I, I do that all the time, and now I'm on the other side of that Hypnosis Dream Eater combo. Um, Alright, so I'm going to send in Spike now. Yeah, Spike has Bite. But he also has Shockwave, and I think Shockwave... Oh no, I made him forget Bike to learn Shockwave. Okay, but we defeated Second Greg. He lost, and that's pretty sad. Um, yeah. Here's a bunch of apricorns. Uh, black apricorn. I obtained it. A blue apricorn, which I am about to obtain. Yes, obtained it. Put it in the apricorn box. And a red apricorn, which uh, is about to be obtained by me. And uh, it's obtained it and put it in the apricorn box. Awesome. Uh oh. Tori and Till are gonna battle and uh, bring out. Till's gonna bring out a Pokemon. I don't know what Tori's gonna do. But uh, yeah, Tori and Till, twins, Plusle and Minin. Oh, 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 I hate these two. Alright, Jericho and Spike. Let's see what we can do. Jericho. Spike. What will Spike do? Spike used Shockwave. Even though it shouldn't be that effective since they're both electric types. I think that's the best Spike can do though. Plus we'll decide to use Copycat and use Shockwave. Whoever uses Shockwave on, it won't be very effective. Mine and use Encore, so now all I can do is use Shockwave. Raise Relief on Plusle and on my- oh wow, critical hit on mine and that's pretty cool. I forgot that Razor Leaf would actually hit both of them. So I have no choice now but to use Shockwave on this here Plusle. It's not very effective. Plusle uses Fake Tears, which lowers my special defense harshly. But Jericho will use Razor Leaf, and that should get it to faint. So, hey! Now Spike's at level 26. And we defeated Twins, Tori, and Tilt. Okay. 
Next is these two. Looks like a beauty and a parasol lady. Hey, hey, hey there, young trainer. Let's battle. Yeah, Beauty Callie and Parasol Lady Cassandra. And they send in a Gloom and a Weeping Bell. This is better. I remember in Spirit Gold, these two were tough. They, they had like a Clefairy and a Jigglypuff. And then when I finally knocked those out, they had a damn Clefable and Wigglytuff. And I was like, gosh, these two are tough. But yeah. Um... Spike and uh, Jericho, probably not the best ones to take these on with, so I'm going to send in Vesuvius and Robotnik in their places. Uh, Gloom uses Drain Punch on Vesuvius. What will Robotnik do? Robotnik will use Zen Headbutt on one of them, and then Vesuvius will use Ember on the other, or Dragon Rage, whichever. Let's see here, Zen Headbutt. Alright, super effective. Took down one of them. Jericho gained experience, so did Spike. Robotnik gained a boosted something or other. Weeping Bell uses acid on Vesuvius, does not affect Robotnik. Oh, now she has a cloister? Are you freaking kidding me? Arg. Alright, well, let's see here. I think I'm gonna have Robotnik, or, uh, Robotnik use Zen Headbutt on the Weeping Bell. Cloisters can use Aurora Beam, which isn't very effective, but it's still effective enough, I guess, to knock out Vesuvius. So Robotnik uses Confusion, and being a special attack, that will knock out the Cloister. So I didn't have a use in it, but this Weeping Bell is just kind of hanging in there. And it keeps using Acid, which is stupid. Okay, now what? Uh, I guess I will send in Spike. So Spike will attack first, probably, and use Bite. Oh, he does have Bite. Uh, Robotnik uses Zen Headbutt, and that should be a dead Weeping Bell. And it is. So that's awesome. Jericho gains experience. Spike and Robotnik both gain experience. Now, she's going to send in Starmie. And, oh, this is perfect. It's called Shockwave Spike. Shockwave! It's a wave of shock. Going from Spike to Starmie, it's like a, a wave, and it didn't do crap. Well, it actually did a lot of crap, but uh, it didn't take it down. But Robotnik is going to take it down, literally take it down. And now Spike is at level 27, so he's kind of up there, and Robotnik is up there. Vesuvius is still at level 24, though, so I need to get him leveled up a little bit, or her leveled up a little bit. But it looks like that's going to have to wait till the next video. We're in Icritique City, and I'll see you all next time.